When YouTubers aren't making lazy and tired clickbaity videos about them, I'm actually showing you how to make flavored potato chips. This time, I'm making dill pickled flavored chips. While I don't have all the weird chemicals that make them taste like a real pickle, I say I came pretty close. So allow me to relish you with the details on how to make your own dill pickle potato chips. Eh, it's made of pickles, it kind of works. Alright, now then, bust out a mandolin slicer, link in the description if you need one. Make sure it's on its thinnest setting, and grab a peeled russet potato, and start slicing away. And uh, don't make the same mistake I'm making, please use some form of safety gloves. Ow! See? This was not a skit, I really did slice myself. All right, next, transfer our potato slices to a bowl of cold water. And you know what, I'm done being an idiot. I'm gonna grab the gloves. All right, give everything a nice toss. Then lay out a tea towel and spread them out evenly. Next, let's grab a second tea towel and pat them dry. This is important because if we drop wet potatoes into hot scolding oil, it's going to over bubble Kaboom! and start a grease fire. And let's be honest, this is not what our doctors had in mind when we said we need to burn more calories. All right, now let's transfer. All right, next, transfer these to a plate. Now let's take care of dill pickle seasoning. Now obviously we'll need dill two teaspoons specifically. Make sure you put everything in a spice shaker. Link in the description if you need one. A teaspoon and a half of salt, not kosher salt, it's too coarse. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of onion powder. An eighth of a teaspoon of mustard powder. And finally, three quarter teaspoon of powdered vinegar. You're not gonna find this at your local Kroger, so you're better off just using my affiliate link in the description. Mix it all together. And it needs a little bit more dill. All right, good go. All right, before we take our starchy little babies to the fryer, let's thank the sponsor of today's video, Happy Sinks. Happy Sinks is a kitchen cleaning brand from Finland. And it has one goal in mind, sustainability. Browse from their selection of high quality, eco-friendly products. I got their fruit fly trap because recently I started a compost pile. With the help of Happy Sinks fruit fly trap, I can cook and not worry about those buddy little bastards. If you're interested, use my link in the description to get 10% off your first order. Thank you Happy Sinks for sponsoring this video. All right, sponsor's done, back to the food. I have here a straight sized saute pan filled up halfway with oil. And I have here a cooling lined baking sheet with paper towel. And since it's already at 350, let's dump in our taters. Don't overcrowd the pan, cook until they're golden brown and delicious. All right, once they're nice and golden brown, transfer them to a huge bowl. Sprinkle on our seasoning. Give it a good toss so it's nicely coated. And then place them on our cooling rack. And there you go, folks. A nice dill pickled flavored potato chip. Oh man, that crunch was so loud it broke the sound barrier. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning at this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, become a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Monday. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and support me on Patreon. Man, I got the AC going and I'm still sweating bullets.